What is my favorite web browser to use? Well, I'm glad you asked the question because coming up in this video, I'm going to tell you what my favorite browser is and why you should be using this browser as well. Well, hello and welcome back to Lab Cyber. I'm Alex. Hope you're doing well wherever you are. So like I said in the intro today, I would like to introduce to you my favorite web browser and that browser is the Brave browser. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this, in my humble opinion, is the best browser to use on the internet and it is a fantastic browser that offers you plenty of functionality, security, and privacy. Now, there's a whole bunch of reasons why the Brave browser is much better than Mozilla Firefox or Google Chrome, but let me quickly give you one major incentive as to why you should be using Brave browser. Now, if you're like me, you probably spend a lot of time watching videos on YouTube. Now, let me open up Chrome in here and let's try to watch a video here on YouTube. Let's play this musical video. And what do we have? We have an advertisement. This is so annoying. You always have ads at the beginning of a video, during the video itself and at, at the end of the video as well. But when you try to watch YouTube videos with the Brave browser, guess what? There are no ads at all. You click on a video and the video plays instantly no ads so right there i feel this is a big enough incentive for you to start using the wave browser as opposed to google chrome but let's get more serious now what exactly makes brave browser so cool and awesome on their homepage, they do have some major claims. They claim that they are three times faster uh, than Google Chrome. Now, I don't know if it's actually three times faster, but I do know that Brave is faster because Brave blocks ads. And when you block ads from loading, your web pages will typically load faster as a result. So yes, it is faster than Chrome. Better privacy by default than Firefox, which is absolutely true as well. Now, Firefox is a very, very good browser when it comes to security and privacy. But the difference is that with Brave, when you install Brave, you don't really need to do that much tweaking. It's already designed to be very, very secure. With Firefox, yes, it has all the necessary functionalities for security and privacy, but you will need to manually tweak uh, the browser a bit more than uh, Brave. That's the major difference. So it also says it uses 35% less battery on mobile. Not very, very important, but all the same, it's a, it's a good feature to have. All right. So... Let me walk you through very quickly how the Brave browser works and how you can use it to your advantage. So here is a page open right here where you have the settings button. You have the regular new tab, new window, new private window as well. But then you have the Tor option. Now you can choose to open up private windows with Tor. Now if you don't know what Tor is, it's basic, it basically acts like a VPN. If you want to access certain kinds of websites and you don't want your ISP to know about it, you can use store. Maybe you're browsing from your office at work and you don't want your boss to know which websites you're visiting, you can use Tor. So Tor acts like a VPN. It kind of prevents your ISP from knowing what sites you're accessing. Now Tor is very often used when people want to access the dark web. So if for any reason you're trying to access some sites on the dark web, Tor is an amazing option to provide you with anonymity and privacy. So that's basically how you can initiate the Tor uh, browser. To exit Tor, simply click on Tor link right here and then just click on exit Tor and Tor will close. So you do have that option inbuilt with the Brave browser. But I want to show you something really cool. I'm going to come down here to the settings. And let me show you how this works out behind the scenes. So on the settings, you have the usual customizing your profile name and icon. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to spend too much time talking about most of these options because they're pretty straightforward. Uh, we will talk about Brave Rewards soon. But right here where you have the shields, uh, just right here. Okay, so shields. This is the most important part of the Brave browser. In here, you can configure uh, just how... Uh, aggressive and how strict you want the Brave browser to act against our uh, ads and trackers. So right here, you have the trackers and ads blocking. There are three levels. You have disabled, standard, and aggressive. I typically go with aggressive, so I'll choose aggressive. And then you have the upgrade connections to HTTPS enabled by default. Cool. Uh, blocking scripts, it is disabled, and I'll recommend you keep it disabled because 
Many websites, many legitimate good websites use scripts to execute certain kinds of functionality. So when you block uh, those scripts from loading, it can break the layout of the website. So I'll recommend you keep this option uh, turned off. Cookie blocking, only cross site, and then fingerprinting blocking. Now, if you don't know what fingerprinting is, it's basically the scenario where companies track you. They track what websites you visit. They can also track uh, what particular kind of operating system you're using. Maybe you're working with the Android, Windows, Mac, and so on. Uh, they can tell what browser you're using. That's basically what fingerprinting is. Now, me, I go with the strict may break sites option, but you can go with standard as well. Now, the reason why I would always recommend strict may break sites is because it's very, very strict. And even if you go to your favorite websites and you discover that with this setting, they are broken kind of, you can choose to disable the uh, aggressive or strict fingerprinting blocking specifically for that website. I'll show you how you can do that in just uh, a moment. And then you have your social media blocking. No need to change anything in here. You do have the search engine where you can choose a default search engine to work with. I have been trying DuckDuckGo for quite a while now, but you can come in here and switch back to Bing or Google or Yahoo, whatever your favorite uh, search engine is. But I'll recommend you try DuckDuckGo. It's pretty awesome. All right, then you have your extensions. Now, if for any reason, right here, you don't have that uh, option to open a private window with Tor, you want to come down here, you'll see the option private window with Tor. Make sure it is enabled uh, right here. And then you have the automatically re redirect .onion sites. So .onion sites are typically the sites in the dark web. So you like, you like to redirect them using Tor. So make sure this option is also turned on as well. But of course, this is only necessary if you intend on accessing uh, the dark web. Okay. Now, last but not least down here, you have the safety check that you can run. Basically, Brave will just check to see if you're running the latest version of Brave, whether the security features are turned on, things like that. So uh, it's a pretty cool uh, feature to have. And then you have the additional settings. So uh, you do have the clear browsing data option, clear cookies and so on. And then right here where you have the auto fill, when you click on passwords as an example, if you've been saving usernames and passwords on your Brave browser, you will see all the websites listed in here, the username and then the password associated with that particular username on that site. So of course you can choose to view the passwords and then you can also choose to remove the details if you want to do so. You can find all of that under your, your additional settings uh, where you have your passwords and then you have your languages as well. You can change the language, uh, view your downloads uh, and so on and so forth. That's it for the general settings for Brave. Now, you do have this very interesting option called the Brave Rewards where Brave browser can actually show you ads, but it's going to be ads directly from them. Now, the twist here is that you will actually get paid for viewing the ads. Don't get too excited. You're not going to make a lot of money viewing the ads with the Brave browser, but it's interesting nonetheless. You get paid, and I believe it's usually in cryptocurrency. I don't know much about this, to be honest with you. I haven't uh, turn this on in quite a while. It's usually been turned off. So you do have the option to choose not to view any ads at all, or you can come in here and say, okay, I'm going to view some ads and make some very little change as a result. So that is pretty interesting. Of course, you have the history button here as well, bookmarks, downloads, and then you have the crypto wallets option with Brave, which to be honest as well, I haven't spent time with, but it is my understanding that you can transfer uh, cryptocurrency from one wallet to another with the Brave browser. You may be able to buy and sell cryptocurrency also within the Brave browser. I don't know if that's uh, true or not, but uh, nonetheless, they do have some exciting uh, features involving crypto wallets and cryptocurrency in here. Okay, I'm going to close this and let's go back to this uh, page right here. So if you want to bookmark a page or a website with the Brave browser, you have the option right here. It's this button right here. Just click in there and you can bookmark uh, this particular page. Now, right here, you have the Brave Shields that will tell you how many ads it's blocked on this particular website. And then you can choose to disable or maybe reduce the level of uh, strictness when it comes to blocking uh, ads. So as an example, let me open up uh, Amazon.com, okay? So Amazon.com is loading right now. And if I go over here to the Brave Shields, you can see right now it's blocked eight items basically trackers and ads and okay so now it's nine items okay and I feel okay now it's 10 so it 
probably might go on for uh, a bit more. So if, for example, you're viewing your favorite website and then you discover that because you're using the uh, aggressive uh, blocking of trackers or you're using the uh, strict fingerprinting uh, blockade and you discover that the layout is broken, you can come right here and then either choose to just say, okay, I'm going to disable security or disable the shields for this site completely or you can come in here right now and then switch from aggressive to maybe standard and then come down here and switch maybe from strict maybe brick sites to uh, standard as well. This is how you can change the security settings for each individual uh, website with the Brave browser. And then in here, you do have your uh, Brave Rewards uh, symbol, you know, how much money you've made on this particular site uh, and so on and so forth. So that's basically basically it for the Brave browser. In my humble opinion, it is the best browser. You get the best of both worlds from both uh, Mozilla Firefox and Chrome because it's actually designed uh, to match the uh, Google Chrome browser. So you have all the design and functionality of the Chrome browser while simultaneously getting all the security and privacy features that Mozilla Firefox will provide for you. So that's it for the Brave browser. In my humble opinion, once again, I've said this many times before, but I feel this is the best browser that you can possibly use uh, on the internet. It doesn't track you, it blocks ads, blocks trackers, blocks fingerprinting, loads very, very quickly, and overall, it is an awesome, awesome browser. So let me know what your thoughts and comments are. If you have any questions about the Brave browser, of course, put them down in the comment section below. Are you going to use the Brave browser or are you going to stick with Firefox or maybe Google Chrome, whatever uh, browser you're currently using? Do let me know. I'd love to hear back from you. If you know of anyone who might benefit from this video, please do share it with them. I'm Alex from Live Cyber. It's been a pleasure. I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.